All righty, been recording again. This this tape I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, show my electrical schematics on hooking up the pulse generators to the emitters to the ion thruster from the high voltage. First, you start out. Now, this is for the air core wound ones. This style right here that I was in the other video. Now this style emitter, or excuse me, pulse generator, has to requires an adjustable air gap between the high voltage static generator and the lead going powering the pulse generator. This is just resistance. There is no, it's all by induction. And the lead comes from here down to the emitter, more resistance, and then ionization to the ground. You can see where this is all grounded, and this is how that is put together. Now this is this is with a bifiler bi wound type pulse generator or you have a ground of course from your generator this goes in positive my generator puts out a positive charge it go it does not require a spark gap it's not necessary in fact don't use it you're just wasting time and effort it goes through the pulse generator in the pulse generator as you can see and this particular one, my diagram shows the other end of the wire on the bifiler because there's four wires coming out of the bifiler. As you can see on this setup here, you don't have to use, you can just dead end what you're not using. I'm using input on one side of the primary coil and the other end of the wire goes to one emitter. And then on the secondary coil, which I call secondary coil. I'm only using one lead on this one and it goes to the other emitter. And these happen to be barrel type emitters in this particular case. And spacing is critical because this will arc over. Because I have found out the tendency to there's the difference in polarity, at least a momentarily difference, and it'll cause a spark. But that is a typical pulse generator of the bifiler type. And now, what we have here is another setup. This is a setup using, and I haven't made a video of it because I haven't really done any testing on it, but this is using the capacitor type, and that's this type plate, plate capacitor type that I have, sh I'm showing you here, and this is how this schematic would be of that, and it's running both negative, so you have plus, negative is how I depict it. In this particular case, I'm running a neutral and the only reason I have a neutral built-in to this system, it's got two emitters, is for the simple fact, as you notice, it has no earth ground. The neutral I'm using, I'm trying to set up to have its own internal grounding system. As you can see, this goes back to the neutral. You follow that through. And we're, I haven't tested it yet. I haven't tested my theory and my work yet. And we're going to find out here later on this year I hope soon this is the same system without using the neutral you just have this basic capacitor pulse generator coming from high voltage it just goes through and fed right to the emitters in this schematic you have your ionized charge and it goes to earth ground it's that And and that's and that's as far as we're going to go here. We're and that should do it. You should have uh, 
give you a good idea. All right, that's uh, that's those schematics, and uh, I hope you can pause the video and study them if you want to study them further. But that's how I wire them in. Talk to you later.